Hello everybody, it's Mac here, and today I'm going to talk about how you can unlock almost every capture-related t-shirt and rims, and chrome rims, that were added in the highest update. So if you don't know, in the highest update, there were a few, uh, there were a few, uh, t-shirts and a few chrome rims that were added to the game that you can unlock, and quite a few of them have to deal with, uh, certain jobs, uh, like captures and some are LTSs. This is going to be talking about how you can unlock quite a few of the capture uh, t-shirts without uh, really doing anything really it'll only take you a few minutes you don't have to actually join any captures it's pretty easy and it's just a real simple glitch that will only take you a few minutes you will be able to unlock the gimme that t-shirt which is collect 100 packages in any capture mode you'll also be able to do the death define t-shirt which is win 25 captures without dying you'll also be able to unlock free chrome rims for your sport wheels and the chrome rims for the low rider sport so the to unlock the chrome the chrome rims for sport you will have to complete 50 you have to win 50 captures and to get uh low rider chrome rims for free you will have to drop off 100 packages and captures so this is going to be very easy to let you guys know so the way you can do this very easy is you want to go into the creator now you may also want to make sure that you have the highest update installed so if you're on the most recent patch uh, then it should work. So uh, unless they patch this in the future, then it should work. Basically, you want to go into a creator, and you may want to make sure that you're in online, then go into creator. I haven't gone from single player into the creator, and that may not work. But just make sure, you know, you may want to make sure that you are in online, then go into the creator. And you want to find, like, a like a flat space that you have quite a bit of open room. I went to the Sandy Shores airfield, just because there's a lot of open space over there. But you could find any uh, parking lot or any place that you want for this. You just want it to be flat and pretty open. And you just want to fill out all of the necessary places in uh, the title, the description, the photo. Just uh, name them whatever you want. But once you get to the uh, team details, you want to make sure that the target score is 8 uh, to win. And then you also want to you know, just do your triggers, all your know, lobby cameras, all that. Uh, and also you want to you know, place the team spawn points pretty much the way I place them here So you want to basically place them you can uh, set how many people you want um, I started out with four, but I eventually increased it But basically you want to put all of all of the packages from one or 11 packages because you can have max of 12 packages on the ground So that's what I did so basically, whenever you do this, you want to have a you want to you want to have eleven packages all in one area in the one uh, in the one capture point. Uh, so if you have a team two, then you want to start. Then you you want to play as a team one whenever you test out this, which is will which is how you're going to be able to do this. But then you're also going to have to make sure that you have one one briefcase or one uh, capture thing in the uh, in the uh, in the enemy vault which is where you're gonna have to take this and basically what you want to do is you want to just test out the job and once you have the if you did this just the way i did it uh which you can't see in the gameplay basically you just want to keep testing now you can test both sides and then what you can do is just save it i wouldn't recommend publishing it because you know just because not many people actually probably want to play this you don't have to I mean, you don't have to actually publish it or anything, so that's pretty nice. You can just do this in the creator. It's pretty easy, and, uh, well, you know, if you do the way I did it, then it should work for you. And pretty much, you may want to, uh, like, uh, calculate how many, uh, how many captures you've already uh, won or how many packages you've already dropped off so that you can do this. But, you know, if you do eight each time and you can carry eight, it's, you know, about maybe 30 seconds each time. Maybe even less, depending on you know how long it takes to load and how fit and how fast you can do them. Another thing that you may want to keep in mind is I did this with a raid. Now you may be able to do this with maybe a capture a hold or maybe a capture GTA. I haven't tried those out, so I wouldn't. Uh, I mean, I just did raid, so I guess raid would probably be the best to do this with. But once you have it all set up, and once you have it all set up, basically you just want to keep testing out the job, and you want to just deliver the packages. So just do what I do in here. It's so pretty easy. Once you do it enough, you should have some of these t-shirts. Now, uh, I got the Gimme That t-shirt uh, just for collecting 100 packages in a capture mode. You can also do the uh, Chrome Rims Lowrider, you know, basically the same way uh, as you do this. 
because uh, you're gonna have to not only pick up uh, pick up the uh, uh, pick up the packages, but you're also gonna have to drop them off. You can also do the uh, death defying T-shirts, which is win 25 captures without dying. That's very easy. You don't. I mean, you know, each time you test it out, it counts as a new as a new capture. And then to get the Chrome Rim Sport, you have to win 50 captures. So this is overall just very easy. But overall, you don't have to uh, stay in lobbies, you don't have to join lobbies, you don't have to deal with any other players. Very easy. Once you guys get this t-shirt, and you know, whenever you get enough packages for this, you just want to go into free roam, and then you want to go into the clothing store, and you should have it unlocked. Just uh, make sure that you, it says like you have uh, progress, your, your progress is good, and whenever you go to your uh, stats and your rewards. And once you get it, then you just want to go to the clothes store and go to the specialties, and you should be good. And uh, or if you're in the uh, if you're if you get like a chrome rims or anything you want to just go to the uh, chrome rims in the mod shop in the uh, Los Santos customs. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just a small glitch. Now you probably won't get banned for this. I don't think you will. I mean, I I, for, I mean I mean it's just a harmless T-shirt. It's just a harmless uh, you know chrome rims. It's not that big of a deal. I don't think anybody's gonna get banned for this, so that's why I'm gonna you know, that's why I'm gonna be talking about this and why I made this video because I don't really like to do glitches on my channel that will risk people getting banned or uh, you know just or game breaking glitches. But this is just harmless, really. I mean, just because you have a T-shirt doesn't mean that you're a better player, or uh, just because you got a T-shirt doesn't mean you have an advantage over somebody. And overall, I just really like the t-shirts. I think they look pretty nice. And uh, also the chrome rims may look pretty nice. So once you're done, just save the job. I guess you can delete it once you're done with it. Or you maybe even you can keep it and publish it. Maybe let your friend test it out or something. Or, you know, so that they can use it. If you guys have found a easier way to get these t-shirts, then definitely let me know in the comments. But I hope you enjoy. Feedback is always appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video.